This next test is called the jerk test. And it's really almost a continuation of the posterior glide at 90 degrees of flexion that we did just uh, prior to this. So I'm gonna bring him up in this position. I can have the same hand placement that I did for the posterior glide, which is just like that. And all I do for the jerk test is from this position, I go ahead and compress, and then I take his arm into horizontal adduction across his body. As I do, if he's unstable, his shoulder is gonna, he's gonna feel, and I'm probably gonna feel a little bit of a jerk as he subluxes uh, or dislocates out the back. Uh, this is also coincidentally the position that's usually cross body movements, um, such as uh, when you finish throwing or when people are swimming, people that have posterior instability, this is usually the position they feel unstable and they feel that they're having their subluxation or dislocation episode. So it's a perfect test to do for posterior instability uh, in a patient who's complaining of shoulder pain of really kind of unknown origin and maybe describing some slipping type of sensations.